I was reading through some statistics last night. Mm -hmm. 600,000 guests come to Graceland every year. Third most visited house in the U.S. I mean, obviously Elvis was really appealing, but what business decisions have really kept him in the spotlight? Uh, it's really about just keeping what Elvis would want. It's really, he was a first adapter. He was the first person. He, he actually invented the pink Cadillac. Cadillac did not offer pink as an option. He bought the car for his mom and, and had it painted pink. So it's really about Elvis as a, as a person who did everything first. And it really resonates even to today. People want something that's authentic. People want something that's original. John Lennon's quote, before Elvis, there was nothing. Elvis really was a pop culture revolutionary, and those things never go out of style. And now people come here to Memphis. They pay to take a tour of his mm -hmm. home. They buy tons of souvenirs. Mm -hmm. I just talked to a woman in the souvenir shop. She said, easy, people will spend $1,000 here today. Mm -hmm. uh, but we also understand Graceland's getting an upgrade. Uh, Tell us what's in the pipeline. Absolutely. So we're building a 450-room hotel and entertainment complex that's going to be opening in about 16 months. It's the largest hotel project in Memphis in 100 years. Wow. Uh, we're building a very large facility across the street that's going to show more of the things that Elvis had. We have over a, one million artifacts in our archives, only a small fraction of which we can show at Graceland. So we're actually going to be creating several new large venues to be able to show a lot more of those items. And you have a new project that you uh, just a new deal you just brand brand on. new that we're talking about here so we're going to be opening up a permanent facility in las vegas elvis played what was originally kirk Kerkorian's international that opened up in 1969 as the largest hotel in the world we're going to be taking over the exhibition space we're going to be taking over the theater and elvis is going to be back in the first time in almost 40 years in las vegas wow so tons of plans in the pipeline uh before we go what's your favorite artifact you've ever come across uh the one of my favorites is the acetate of the his first recording that he made he paid for himself at the studio where Sun Records was that he went to play over a friend he left it there that actually happens to be up for auction tonight uh, and I may be one of the people bidding all right well in the auctions online so we'll have to keep our eye on